Well, one has to look at what was there during Mahinda Rajapaksa's presidency before. He, his government saw a very brutal end to a nearly three-decade ethnic war. But post-war, when there was hope for reconciliation, we also saw continued conflict and ethno-religious conflict as well. So the signs are that the reign of terror we saw during the Rajapaksa period will return. The safeguards, the checks and balances may be dispensed with. In 2015, when the present president uh, and the government was brought in, they brought in very important constitutional amendments to safeguard and have checks and balances on key institutions. There, there is a fear that we may actually go back on some of these key developments. But one recognition is, despite promises of this government initiating independent investigations, prosecuting alleged perpetrators, we have seen very limited progress. So the fear is that the impunity hasn't been addressed. And if you have a president and those who saw some terror, uh, saw uh, attacks against media, critiques, civil society, during that period, that reign of terror will return. Now, this is assuming we um, we see similar patterns as before. This is all speculation. But the way the transfer of the transfer of power happened, un unconstitutional transfer of power happened on Friday, raises many questions that the Constitution in itself will be undermined by those who are now claiming to be in office.